Hey, welcome back to The Past is Alive. Tonight we are back doing Turn Back the Clock Tuesday and we're heading back to 1993. But tonight we are joined by a special guest and host of the StuCast podcast, Al Studer. If you want to say hello, Al. Hey, everybody. Thanks for having me, John. Really appreciate it. Yeah, it's a pleasure to have you with us. Al um, helped to sponsor this break for everybody and I'm really excited because I've never opened a box of these. And tonight we're looking for Derek G, your rookie card. Hopefully we'll see at least one of those and also always looking for inserts in these 90s boxes. So the pop on um, on the PSA 10 Jeter is over 600 of them. The PSA 9, uh, over 2,600 of those. So the PSA 10 runs about 700 bucks uh, in recent sold listings and 9's around 100 bucks. So let's hope we can find something nice in here tonight. Let's go ahead and get started, Al. And we'll start off at the top left for Drew K. This is a 310 card series. Cheater was exclusive to Series 2. Other notable rookie cards. Jason Kendall, Shannon Stewart were two other ones. And... Yep. <laughs> the great Shannon Stewart. And, of course, some other cringeworthy names I'm sure Paul L. will appreciate in here. Series 2 are actually the better boxes. There are uh, uh, more chances at some better insert cards. There's some nice ones to be found in here. And apparently we have a box topper here of Gerard, Gerard Clark um, opening day. That's pretty cool. I did not know that these came in the boxes. Jeff Conine and Gerald Clark. Seven of nine. Very cool. So I guess those are one per box. Put that one off to the side. Drew K's in the top left. I love Pinnacle as a kid. I think these were closer to two bucks a pack back then. A little more than tops, a little more of a premium product. We have 15 cards per pack. And the other thing I like about Pinnacle too is how they had different players on the packs of the different series. You can see here uh, we have Bernie Williams on top of this pack. Carlos Berga is on one of these. Cal Eldred. So top left, 36 packs in this box. 15 cards per pack. There's primetime Dion Sanders on this one. And Al, do you want to go ahead and uh, let everyone know how to access your podcast? Yeah, I appreciate that, John. Uh, shout out to primetime, too. He's, uh, I, I forgot he's on these. Oh, yeah. Uh, so you can catch me wherever you get your podcast uh, iTunes, Spotify, Google. Uh, I'm there. The Stewcast on Twitter, at Stewcast Sports. And John, you're actually right after this show. We're taping. Uh, you're going to be on this episode coming up. It's a huge episode going over college football uh, preview this weekend with North Coast Sports. Uh, we're actually doing pretty good on the on the year, um, up a few units. So hopefully, giving some winners there. And then we've got uh, Alex Marvez of All Elite Wrestling. So if there's any wrestling fans out there. Uh, Alex Marvez is a uh, very, very uh, great chat, and hope you check it out. And of course, yourself, we're going to be talking about this box and some other stuff. Yeah, very, very excited for it. Um, what that premieres, that's going to air on Thursday morning. I don't mean to cut you off, but the very first pack, Al, we have a Derek Jeter rookie card. I, I saw the very first pack for Drew K. The Jeter already shows up. How crazy is that? Wow. Congrats, Drew K. This one looks a little bit off-center, left to right. And, of course, Pinnacle, it's tough to get high grades because of that black border. And as you can see here, we have a little bit of, of white blemish to the top left. But very, very nice card, nonetheless. Hall of Famer Derek Jeter. Beautiful-looking card in the very first pack. Hopefully, we will see some more of those. So don't go anywhere. There's still plenty to talk about and plenty more fun coming up. Derek Jeter, rookie card. Let's put that in the top letter real quick before we carry on. So, uh, hey, hey, remember that time you told me you were going to buy me a box of 93 Pentacle? <laughs> I do remember that. We'll put this in a top loader here. And Drew K, congratulations, man. The very first pack, the Jeter rookie card. How crazy is that? Bender Rule says, I think you will pour, pull four Jeters. That would be insane, man. Al and I were literally talking about before the stream started, like, what if we pull five Jason Kendalls instead? <laughs> well, the first pack in is Derek Jeter rookie card surfaces. 
Very, very awesome. John Fishman is in here as well. That says, Jack said he would be here tonight with a John Wathen emoji. <laughs> Referring <laughs> to Jack Townsend. And Dirk Remington says, Jeter, where's the gum? Good luck, everyone. Dirk, thank you so much. Thank you, John. Appreciate that. There's Barry Bonds. Dave Winfield. Hometown heroes. Very first pack. What is it? The crazy odds of that. It's pretty freaking awesome. Love Pinnacle. I love 92 Pinnacle as well. And um, never opened... A box of these, so very excited about it. The Tony Phillips. <laughs> Big shout out to the Tony Phillips and all the Tony Phillips enthusiasts out there. Second pack in. I guess I skipped over the uh, Charlie Huff, too. These ones are stuck together a little bit. Benji Gill. You can see a little bit of white on the corner of that one. A little bit of brickiness, but no paper loss, fortunately. I see a Don Mattingly coming up in this next pack. Bob Welch, Daryl Sherman, Jack Armstrong, the expansion draft. Dennis Moeller, name that I have have forgotten about a long time ago. Looks like we have Dale Murphy, and who's that, Jeff Conine? Idols. Yeah, these inserts are real nice, man. Yeah, they definitely are. I like the subset cards a lot, too. And then uh, Now and Then, Donnie Baseball, 93 and 82. That's a pretty awesome card, though. <laughs> Andrew says, Jeter will be one in every pack, if only. How crazy would that be? Zane Smith. Our ugly shot of him, Bob Scanlon, Randy Velarde, Arthur Rhodes, and Kevin Tappany in the second pack. Not a bad second pack, though. We have Kruk on this pack, rapper Byerga, Bernie Williams, Cal Eldred, who also got the cover of the box, and Dave Fleming, looks like, along with Larry Walker. So a lot of different faces on these packs. Very cool stuff. A box of these, it seems like they run around... Like if you go to buy it now on eBay, it seems like they're around... 140 150 if, my, if you get lucky, you might score one for about 100 bucks or a little around there. So they're still kind of expensive. There's Tom Hankey. Jim Tatum, 93 rookie prospect. Kevin Steele's in here, too. says, Corey loves Raul Mondesi. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? Kevin Steele, thanks a lot, man. Appreciate you being here with us. Roddy Bolton and Criterion Racer Lee is with us, too. Lee, thank you very much, man. Andy Ashby, good to see all you guys. Appreciate you joining us. And also, major shout-out to Al for being here for this one, too, and for uh, sponsoring this break. Greg Jeffries and Ron Say, idols in that pack. Felix Fermin. There is Archie, kind of a cringeworthy name from 93. I'm sure Paul will agree with that one. Leo Gomez, Bill Wegman, and Derek May. Let's go, Bernard Gilkey, Joe says. <laughs> Yeah, still waiting for that other package from uh, Dirk Remington. I can only imagine what kind of gum awaits me in there after the 1979 gum last time. Hopefully break my record. Greg Colbrin, JT Snow rookie card. I definitely had this in like a screw-down case back in 93. That was a freaking hot one. Remember when JT Snow was like, he was the thing. Like I remember getting his uh, clear metal like 96 card and I was just ecstatic. Yeah, JT Snow. Yeah, he was he was the big prospect back then. Didn't last all too long, but I know I was definitely on that prospect bus. Sean Lowe. It's an interesting card of Mike Pagliarulo. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there, but some sort of ancient Sumerian rain dance. Willie McGee, hometown heroes, Xavier Hernandez, Bob Walk. Without the stash, that looks just doesn't look right at all. Mike Henneman, every one of these cards is like flipped upside down. Mike Devereaux. So first pack magic, that was freaking awesome. I guess you're the good luck charm, Al. I tried to be. I just would disagree. I'll tell you what, though. I, and I don't know about you, and I'd love to see what all the folks listening and, and watching, but I'm a bigger fan of the 92 pinnacle design. Yeah, 92 is definitely awesome, too. I, I can probably agree with you on that one. 92's got some good rookie cards, too, like the uh, the Jeff Kent and also the Manny Ramirez. Richie Lewis, rookie prospects. And we got a Ripken in here for Corey. Here's Ron Gant. Now and then, 93 and 81. I'm sure Corey probably has that one. <laughs> Corey says, Kevin Steele, you're a fool. It definitely is. Paul Sorrento. Looks like he has a black eye in that photo. David Segui. Yeah, they really make you work for these ones. Dwayne Ward. Jose Offerman. 
And Bobby Witt ends that pack out. Paul says, Paul Sorrento, disgrace to all. <laughs> and Donald Blomdahl, so you're the cool emoji. Donald, thank you, man. Good of you to join us. Corey, if you could please post links to all these channels. I'm sure you probably are doing that already, but... <laughs> yeah, I don't think I've ever met anyone that was hyped on Paul Sorrento. John Fishman says, John is good at picking prospects, would make a great GM. That is true. My my prospect team in the 90s would have been horrific. Karim Garcia, Jose Cruz Jr., Arrestus Destrade. We were definitely, I don't think I ever liked him. I think Eric and I both hated him really bad. Butch Henry, Todd Pratt, Jeff Reardon. Charlie Hayes, there's a Pendleton. We did not like Pendleton either back in the day. 84, 93, now and then. Yeah, we hated Pendleton. He beat out Bonds for the uh, the NL MVP. It was at 92, I think. Ben Rivera, Joe Carter, Kenny Rogers, and Thomas Howard looking like Kenny Lofton. Tim Wakefield, that would have been a hot one back then too. We were definitely pumped on Tim Wakefield. Mel Rojas and Jose Kendo. Ends that pack out. And we got three left, but we already found the Jeep in the first pack, so I'd say it was a pretty good one. Maybe there'll be one in every stack. How crazy would that be? That would be real nice. This would be, uh, this would be advantageous to us. Yeah, that would have been freaking awesome. John Smiley, never smiling. Alex Arias, Steve Reed. We got some more prospects in here. Harold Reynolds pulled his rookie card out of a pack last night out of 86 tops. Ricky Gutierrez. Daryl Kyle. Jamie Arnold looking really pissed off. Benito Santiago. Sean Wetland. Uh, we got Zane Smith again. Bob Scanlon. Velarde. Some of the same coalition as before. Arthur Rhodes and Kevin Tappany. Are there errors in this set? Uh, I don't know if there's any... Noticeable errors in this set, honestly. I don't think that there are. There might be one. Wesley says, rest in peace, Daryl Kyle. Definitely. Uh, we got the last two packs. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. His rookie card's actually 91. Tops traded. Butch Henry, Todd Pratt again. I can. I still can't get over the fact that we found that in the very first pack. Somebody in the, in the chat called that. That is very true. That is very true. Pete Janicki, John Klinsman says, just wanted to use my Sabo emoji. Nice. Love that Sabo emoji. There's Wade Boggs, now and then, 93 and 82. It's a nice car to him. Mel Rojas again. And Pete Shurik. Jeff Montgomery. Final card of this pack, Dave Justice. There's a shot of the back. Very confused and somewhat pissed off, Dave Justice. And the final pack here. Paul says, YouTube won't let me use Keith Atherton as my profile picture. <laughs> oh, that'll make for a glorious profile picture. Al Martin, I was definitely really hyped on Al Martin in the early 90s. I think all of us Buckos fans were. Probably had that in a screw down case as well. Rob Nen. Daryl Boston, last pack for Drew, but I'd say he already made out with that, uh, the Jeter in the first pack. Suckliff, Sterling Hitchcock rookie card. And Nolan Ryan tribute. That's a pretty awesome one. I think this is an insert card. I'm almost positive it is. Has to be. Something's clinging on here. Is that lag bad on your end, Al? Seems like it's pretty, uh, you're pretty well caught up with me. Yeah, no one. Yeah, the Galarraga got a little bit of paper loss, but the Nolan Ryan, the front of it is pretty nice. The back, not too shabby. Six of ten. It's a nice looking card, though. It's probably one of the best ones in that insert set. Six you know, of ten. I think he's got a now and then in here that actually is even nicer. So. Yeah, I think I think you're right. I think tribute. They also had like George Brett in there. I think there's a couple different guys. There's Wade Boggs base card. And Jason Kendall rookie card. I actually have that in my rookie card box. Always like Kendall. Ozzie Smith. Good pack, though. Nolan Ryan, Kendall rookie, Ozzie Smith. 
<laughs> Angel Baby. Yeah, those those ones that are bricked up, they're tough, man. I, I, I hate to see them uh, succumb to paper loss. And ends that stack out. First one down for Drew K. And Derek Jeter rookie card in the books already. Let's see if we can uh, find another one and maybe some other insert cards. Now, I know quite a few folks are looking forward to a Rob Deere sighting. So. Yeah. Yeah. There's definitely some, some Rob Deere enthusiasts on this channel. And that takes uh, us to... Oh, great. yeah. Yeah, I don't think... It may come as no surprise, but I'm pretty sure Eric and I did not like him at all. Here are the pack odds, though, if we have any. doesn't look like it. I think we have a chance at three different insert cards in Series 2. Wesley says, a condition the Jeter. It's a little off-center left to right, and there's a minor little blemish in the top left corner. Let's see if we can find another one. It was in the very first pack for any of you guys that are just joining us right now. Is another Wade Boggs, Graham Lloyd, Bill Kruger, Frank Bullock, Bernanski, Tyler Green, Destrade again, Pete Janicki. It's like a nerdy like high school photo. There's that Boggs now and then. Austin Farmer is with us as well. George Bell. Ricky Bonus, and nothing too great in the first pack for Ray, but we are definitely pulling for you. Maybe Larry Walker's pack will hold something nice if I can get it open. Hey, Pete Janicki, I mean, who can't remember all his plays? And, uh, you know, just a Hall of Famer uh, career got cut short by inability. Yeah, yeah. No doubt about it. There's a Greg Maddox on top of this next pack that kind of fell victim to a little blemish up on the top. It's always unfortunate when that happens. Lee Tinsley. Haven't heard that name in a long time. Pete Smith. Yeah, these black borders, they are tough. Brett Barbary. Kevin Rogers. Prospect card. Greg Gagne. I'm glad I'm only opening one box of these. Because <laughs> of the freaking bricking. It's like we have Dave Winfield and is that Alex Arias? Idols. They did that 92 as well. I used to like those cards a lot. Some of those 92 subset cards are crazy. Like the sidelines cards was like Jim Gott doing like a freaking drop kick. <laughs> he was like a black belt in Taekwondo or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. It was Pat Mahomes, Ray Sanchez, Henry Cotto. Ends that pack out for Ray in stack number two. Yeah, so my Twitter is actually um, at past underscore alive. I just started it up um, actually with your recommendation. Um, so I just posted a couple things on there. And, yeah, if you guys have Twitter, I'm going to be posting more frequently on there, upcoming videos, breaks, stuff like that. I uh, appreciate you bringing that up because I always forget about it. And, um, and your yours is StuCast Sports, correct? Yeah, yeah, definitely excited to do that. That's what we'll be talking about tonight, and that one will air on Thursday morning. Austin says, I'm one of John's first Twitter followers. Glad he sees me there. <laughs> oh, old Phil H. I was really hyped on him back then, too. That might actually be his rookie card. There's a repeat. Idols of Winfield and Alex A., Robbie Thompson, Navarro, Tim Belcher. Andy Stankowitz, Corey's actually on the hunt for his 90, what is that, 93 triple play error card. It's like impossible to find. What is it? Uh, I think it's white letter or white text. 
compared to the normal gray text, I believe. Anybody has that, hit up Ripping for Ripkins. And there's Corey right there. That says, enough about your Twitter. What is your OnlyFans, <laughs> Corey? That is way too personal a question, man. My OnlyFans just consists of me sitting there eating Taco Bell. I, I thought it was going to consist of you playing with Ghostbusters. Don't well, that, yeah, that, I mean, that could definitely be a future episode. <laughs> Taco Bell, playing with Ghostbusters toys. Who wouldn't want to see that? <laughs> Corey, thanks a lot, man. There's a link to Corey's channel. Check him out. He's almost at 1,100. He just posted a video like an hour ago, I think. So did Craig B. I just watched Craig B.'s new video before coming on. I don't know if anyone's... Uh, I don't know if you're subscribed to Craig B. or not, Al, but uh, <laughs> his new video is pretty hilarious. Craig B. Cards. Yeah, his, he's out in the desert in his new video. There's a Mike Lansing rookie card. Danny Jackson. It's a very feminine-looking throw. Uh, Jeff Cohn on his rookie card is actually 91. Bowman. David Cohn. Jay's openings is in here. What's happening, man? Craig B. definitely is an icon. And not the Craig. There's, there, is, there are two Craig B.'s. Dawson. Dan Serafini rookie card. I know the last time we opened 93 Tops, we kept seeing his freaking card, and it was... Very um, upsetting, looking for the Jeter. And Bobby Wood ends that pack out. Yeah, the Craig B. Imposter, he has, like, goat simulators on there and, like, ninja videos and stuff. Because the last time I looked for it, <laughs> that's what kept popping up. So you got to type in Craig B. Cards. <laughs> goat simulator. Yeah, Craig B. Imposter. An oddball card Shane is in here. It says, I bought all the Taco Bell Mexican pizzas. And the naming rights to Monty for Mondesi and Shane. Thanks a lot, man. Monty for Mondesi's is actually Corey's up and coming, or it was going to be Corey's up and coming channel that focuses directly on Raul Mondesi until Shane bought the rights to it, apparently. Appreciate that, man. There's Hitchcock rookie card again. Bo Jackson in his White Sox attire. Ryan Bowen. And who do we have here? Killebrew and Paul Molitor. I had that one in my Molitor collection yeah, as a kid. A that definitely is cool. I like that one a lot. Those cards are sweet. Todd Steverson, rookie card. There's Paul O'Neill for Norman. Check out uh, Shane Oddball Cards. Poor Corey just posted a link to his channel. We have Jack Morris. Wow, how different he looks. Now, this is my card. This is my card. I was hoping that you would pull this. I love this Jack Morris card. And, and Jack is a great dude when you meet him in person. Very personal. You've met him before. That's yeah. awesome. He looks like a stone-cold serial killer. But, uh, <laughs> I can definitely kind of see that. He looks so different compared to 77. That is crazy. Maybe it's a mustache throwing me off, but that is that is very, very cool. So you met Jack Morris before then, huh? Yeah, I've met Jack Morris. I've met another dude right here at the end, uh, Tony Phillips, too. You actually met um, Tony Phillips, too? Oh, no kidding. Stadium. <laughs> nice. A lot of those guys. Nice. Rain delay. It was weird. It was <laughs> that sounds like an interesting story, though. And we have Big Sun ripped it in here. It says, I'll be that creepy guy in the corner and just watch tonight. Big Sun, thanks, man. We are very proud to have you lurking in the corner with us tonight. Appreciate that, man. Bill Kruger, Frank Bollock, Chris Hammond, and who do we have here? These seem like these are one per pack. We have Fisk. 1969 and 93. He looks virtually the same. Identical. That's wild. Norm Charlton. Lurking is the theme of this channel. Yeah, definitely. Is. Met Jack Morrison still lived. Who wrote that? Classic pack attack. Nice. That is great. Mike Hedeman and Mike Devereaux. We have two packs left. James Shaw's his first time watching live, but love your channel. James, thanks a lot, man. Good to have you with us live for the first time. Appreciate you watching the videos. We've got two packs left for Ray P. Let's find you something nice. We haven't found too many great things in this stack yet. There's a Donnie baseball coming up now and then. Maybe we'll find another Jeter in this stack. That would be so awesome. Well, it seems like we keep repeating similar cards, so again, that sheet thing's still in play. Right, right. There's a Donnie Baseball now and then. Andres Calarraga is the one that got really bad paper loss the last time. Wade Boggs. Kendall rookie card again. Third Benji Gill. 
What's that? It's nicer than Javi Lopez. Javi Lopez was a dick. I've heard that before. I definitely he have heard that. Calabraga, nice guy. Yeah, I've definitely heard that about Javi Lopez. That's pretty crazy. Final pack in the top right. Fingers crossed here. I think Jeter was like right in the middle of the pack the last time. <laughs> AK Davy Davy Lopez. Yeah, like his 91 uh classic best <laughs> error card. I love that one. That's great. Matt Whiteside, Carlos Garcia again, same collation as before. Scott Radinsky. Maybe there's a Jeter hiding in this little clump right here. That would be epic. Jeff Blauser, we definitely hated him. We hated the Braves back in the early nineties just because they were the rival of the Buckos. He was good, yeah. We didn't like him, though, obviously, because they would always murder our buckos. Ramon Martinez, Alex Fernandez, and the final card in this stack is John Wetland. I still can't get over this one, though. I never knew that they did that, put those in. BCW uh, Deluxe Card Saver. Pretty wild. Didn't, didn't John Wetland go to jail? John Wetland, yeah, there was like the whole... Uh, Child porn, child abuse, that whole situation. I never ever heard the outcome of that whole thing. No, I think he went to jail for it. I would not doubt it. <laughs> Corey says, thank you, Ray P, for beating me to the top right. <laughs> Paul L says, Jazz Bros. God's Jazz Bros. God on who to hate in the 90s. Reds, Braves, and any ugly guy. That could not be more true, man. Yeah, if you had a weird name, weird looking card, we hated you. The most judgmental brothers in history. Yeah, Vaughn Hayes hated him <laughs> for no reason. Hal Morris. All right, Corey, let's find you something nice, man. I know you want that Jeter. Paul Gibson, Tom Hankey, Daryl Sherman leads off. Mitch Williams looking like Jack Sparrow. That's kind of weird. Jack Armstrong, Dennis Moeller, Bob Ojeda. And I think it's there's Brett Butler, Scott Fletcher. This is an Idols card, it looks like. We've had Greg Jeffries and Ron Say again. Didn't he have, wasn't Ron Say on another one of these already? Or do we see this card? I don't remember seeing Jeffries in this I break. I don't think we saw this one. Huh. We definitely saw Ron Say earlier in the box. That's pretty crazy. So he's on two Idols cards. Anthony Young, Jeff King who just does not seem like a good person at all whatsoever. Kim Baptiste and Zap Pack for Corey. Wait, what do you base that on? Jeff King? What was this? He didn't seem like a good person whatsoever. What does that base on? I'd have to look it up exactly before um, talking about it, but Jeff King is just like, he just seemed like a real piece of trash. I'm sure somebody else in here can elaborate on that. It was, yeah, Paul L says, didn't Jeff King retire the moment he hit 10 years service? Yeah, it was someone, something along those lines. And Brittany's in here. Trevor Hoffman, not his rookie card, but second year. Junior Felix was a guy that we did not like very much, at least not me. Pat Gomez, Spike Owen. Seen a lot of that Mike Devereaux, too. We have a different now and then coming up here. Michael Tucker who I think is a newly designated bad omen on this channel after the 95 Select Certified, Joe Hesketh Eckersley. It's an interesting photo of him in 93. He looks a lot different, too, from 75 on. Just all black and white. We can't, we can't splurge for color here, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Mike Henneman, Mike Devereaux again. No escape from Michael Tucker, Paul says. Yeah, we can't seem to get away from him. Mark Witten. And... Luis Gonzalez ends that pack out for Corey. Hey, Stemmer's hits. What's happening, man? Hey, Rick has uh, said the precursors are Dan Peltier, Alan Embry, and Tim Cruz. So. For the Jeter. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know Drew K was in here. Apparently. And, and we're rooting for you, Ripken, for Ripkins. Rooting for you, man. Yeah, we'll have to keep an eye out for those. Steve Reed, Harold Reynolds, Ricky Gutierrez, Mike Stanton, Lonnie Smith on the Buckos. I don't remember him playing for the Pirates at all. Huh. How many people remember Buckos? Yeah, he must have only <laughs> he must have only played for them for like one season. Chris Roberts, Chris Hammond, Mike McFarland, Jim Tomey. Pretty early on in his career. It's a nice one. Tim Cruz passed away that year. Rest in peace. 
Classic Pack Attack says Mark Lemke, another guy we did not like. And Carl Willis ends that pack. No sign of anything great yet, Corey. What a creepy picture of Dwayne Ward. Tony Fernandez. I hate having to unbrick these because it's like it gives away the suspense factor big time for myself. Rodney Bolton looks like he's 12 years old. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Chet the Dex says, I like the design of these cards. Yeah, right. Ken Bottenfield, Chris Carpenter, Winfield base card. There's Molitor, another one I liked back then. Shannon Stewart, rookie card. Definitely a nice one. No really blemishes to this one. Nice. Hey, you got sweet Lou right behind it. Yep, Lou Whitaker. A lot of people think he deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. Steve Olin, Doug Henry, Sorrento again. Classic pack attacks is he and Steve Olin died in a boating accident with Bobby Ojeda, who survived. Yeah, that's crazy. I remember when that happened. Dwayne Ward and David Siki. And on to the next one, Austin Farmer. If I took a shot for every player John and Eric didn't like in the 90s, I wouldn't have a liver anymore. <laughs> Dom Blomdahl says he's your guest on speakerphone. He is. Hopefully it doesn't sound horrible. That is how we do it on The Past is Ghetto. Yeah, well, I, like I said to him, you got to get on StreamYard. It's a much easier platform, but I'll, uh, I'll help you with it. Yeah, yeah. in the future we'll try doing something that the ghetto is alive, Paul says. <laughs> yeah, I like that one better. <laughs> Eric Davis, Benji Grigsby. Kind of a cringe name there. Tommy Green. Invest in Todd Van Poppel, PSA 6, Papa says. Danny Gladden, Bill Swift, Alan Trammell, and Brian McRae. And the final four for Corey. <laughs> Samuel says, Brittany, are you, are you ghetto too? <laughs> and Jeff Reardon. Billy Brewer, I don't remember that name too well. Kevin Young, of course, was all about him. Jeff Innes had some good years. Doug Drabeck, Hometown Heroes. Manuel Lee. And who's that? Is that Tartable? Tartable and Jose Tartable. Idols. Jose Tartable's dad. I haven't heard that name in a very long time. Dave Stewart. George Bell, Ricky. Nothing else too crazy. And that's that Greg Vaughn. And the final three. Billy Brewer's Milwaukee's mascot. <laughs> Chet says, can we get more Joe's card corral on your visit, John? Yeah, we'll have to do a yak pack rip at some point here pretty soon. If I could find them for less than a freaking crazy price for a case. They like went a off the... Yak pack, a yak pack <laughs> for a whole case they should pay you four bucks to take one there's that dan peltier or peltier uh wasn't that a precursor alan Embry, oh, fisk and there it is i can see it already Corey, you got one. Oh man pj wallace come on i saw that pinstripe jersey oh man pj wallace and he knows he just robbed you of a freaking Jeter rookie card. That sucks. I just saw the side of his jersey and was like, oh, it's definitely Jeter. Oh, man, is that a bummer. Jeez. Dale Murphy. <laughs> Jonathan H says, you got one. <laughs> Jonathan, thanks, man. That is just gut-wrenching. We got so robbed. Maybe the next pack. Who knows? Alex Fernandez. <laughs> <laughs> you got a BJ Wallace, man. You got a BJ Wallace. Congrats. <laughs> oh, that was horrible. Horrible. John Fisher says he related to Steve Harvey. <laughs> Me or Al? Good old Steve Harvey. There's Eric Young. There's there's Dan P again. And Alan Embry. I don't want to get all excited again because. Uh, well, yeah, I think it just signals a number one draft pick card. So. Yeah, Ron Gant, there's the Ripken now and then. 
I want to get all excited for a B.J. Wallace again. Jim Gott. Mark Davis, Bob Scanlon. We've seen that freaking car like four times tonight. It is awful looking. Randy Velarde, Arthur Rhodes. Corey, I don't know, man. Maybe in the last pack here. Kevin Tappany and Marquise Grissom. Final pack with Eldred on the front. May, Al May Cal Eldred bring us some luck here. Or this creepy smile of Dwayne Ward. <laughs> I see people talking about my ghetto timer. <laughs> William Jackson. Oh, that is too funny. Reggie Jefferson. Hernandez prospect card. We have another one in here. I think it's B.J. Wallace again. Greg Hibbard. Scott Sanderson or Rick Helling this time. I haven't seen that one yet. Robbed us of a Jeter in that pack. It looks like Tony Pena was a great catcher, though. Harold Baines, hometown hero. Jeff Fry. <laughs> Paul Ellis has had a Dr. Pepper today in honor of tree trimmer. Nice. Mike Harkey, Steve Olin, and the final few for Corey. <laughs> you owe Corey a Jeter rookie. <laughs> I think that's only fair. Paul Sorrento and the cringe squad there at the end. Ends Corey's stack. Only one they Jeter. Skipped over the David Segui. David. Corey. I mean, that's a big card. <laughs> that is true. He does PC Orioles cards. That takes us to the final stack for Super. Austin says the pass is allowed. The one time we don't want BJ's is opening pinnacle. <laughs> hey, now, John, before we get to this last deck, did you ever do the pinnacle, like, basketball, uh, pinnacle, hockey? Did they make, not basketball, but hockey? I know they did football. I don't know if they had the rights to basketball. Yeah, pinnacle did hockey. They, I know they did them in 92, 93, I believe. But I never saw Pinnacle basketball cards. Um, yeah, I might have been speaking out of my uh, arse on that one. They definitely did hockey. They did hockey. And I thought they did football, too. I don't remember seeing, like, the Black Border Pinnacle football cards, but I definitely remember I, I had some of the hockey cards. Bottom right, Super John C. I don't know if he's in here or not. He's on the West Coast, but... Um, Let's try to find you something good. Fall Creek says, is your caller on a rotary phone at least? I wish, man. I wish I wish I had a landline. I was actually talking to, to Brittany about that the other day, about getting a landline and making everyone call that instead. Speaking of football, what do we have here? Looks like Lenny Dykstra and... Kenny Stabler? Yep. I remember I, I went through a box of cards a while ago and didn't know who he was, and everyone like literally tore me apart for it. Kenny Stabler, the snake. I think I, I think I call him like Ken Stabler or something like that, and yeah, people were not happy with me at all. They were furious. Jeff Schmidt, I don't remember him at all. Danny Gladden, Bill Swift, Trammell, and Brian McRae. Is it true that Jordan had a Don Russ rated rookie card in 1990? Jordan or Joshua says um, definitely not for baseball. He had the 91 short print in upper deck. Basketball is what, 86, 87? Fleer. <laughs> Paul says, my dad would be ashamed of you for not knowing Stabler, John. Yeah, people were not happy at all when yeah, I that's, that's mis <laughs> mispronounced his name. I <laughs> didn't know who he was. <laughs> all right, Brett Barbary, Kevin Rogers, David Cohn, Tom Kramer looking like Tom Hankey. That's pretty weird. Benito, Barry Bonds, Hometown Heroes. 85, 86 was the Jordan rookie card, I guess. Pete and Cavillia, Ray Sanchez, Henry Cotto. We haven't seen a whole lot of insert cards in here. We saw that Nolan Ryan tribute, but Gary DeSarcina. And Andy Stankiewicz haunting Corey again. <laughs> Brian Cool. Yeah, there's definitely a lot that I don't know. Zane Smith. With, <laughs> that is awful. The sunglass tan line. Oh, man, that is horrid. There's that awful Tom Hankey imposter card again. Donald Blomdahl with the hot dog emoji. Thank you, Donald. I appreciate that, man. Good to have you with us the whole time, man. Please check out Donald Blomdahl. Corey Post and link to his channel, please. Mike Tremblay. Charlie Huff. Kamenecki. Galarraga. Boggs. Kendall rookie card again. We're going to get lucky and see a Jeter. 
I think you did say five. Yeah, what are we at? Three? Is it three? I think, I think so. Yep. Alex Fernandez, Wetland again, and Zane Smith. We need a Baja Blast emoji. Everyone is getting very demanding in, in the chat. <laughs> John Fishman, I, I did make a, a Wathen emoji like five minutes before the stream. So I'm not sure what will be next. Probably uh, Mike Armstrong, maybe. We have six packs left here. John Cummings. Wade Boggs now and then again. Daryl Kyle, Lewis Mercedes. I haven't heard that name in a long time either. Keith Miller, Pedro Estacio. You know, I really like the bags of these. Lee guys. Smith. I like, I like how they uh, put it, everything's like very nice and clean, and it's just. It really makes a difference. Yeah, I definitely agree. This is an interesting card, though. <laughs> That's a pretty crazy one. <laughs> like, hide inside pitch or something. I don't know. That's pretty. That's a pretty wild card. No, I, I don't know if it's as good as uh, the Kevin Seitzer 93 Select. I feel like I need to pull this out at least once every video. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. One of my personal favorites. And we do have an insert card in this next pack, and my fat fingers gave it away. Let's see, Terry Jorgensen, Doug Desenzo, Greg Gore. There is the one true Tom Hankey, Jim Tatum. CNM's his air guitar. <laughs> Our rookie team pinnacle, Cordero. Of course, the insert cards are always freaking stuck. And Manny Alexander. So, seventh card of a 10 card set. With the, with the two, uh, one on each side. Don't will Cordero get busted for Royce, so? though? Uh, he may have. I've never heard that before, but I I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised. It's I'm definitely sure possible. No. Yeah, I feel like somebody definitely does. There's that creepy Mike Paglio Rulo again. <laughs> that card's so weird. McGee, Xavier Hernandez, Manny Alexander, no words, Paul says. <laughs> yeah, another guy I was hyped on back then. No surprise there. Jeff King, you hate his guts. Hated him. Don't know why I hate him, but know that I should hate him. And the final four. And then next week, I don't know what we're going to do next week. I think we're going to do 90, or 2000 Stadium Club Chrome. Because I've had that box for a while, and I've been itching to open it. And I've never seen that before. And I think they started making those again this year, um, Stadium Club Chrome. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that they are. This is Benji Gill for Paul. Bob Welch, Jeff Conine, Dale Murphy, Doug Jones, and that awesome handlebar mustache. Donnie Baseball, we've seen that one like three times tonight. Not a bad thing, though. Rod Beck, Schilling, first time seeing him. God, what an ugly jersey. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty crazy, man. God almighty. What Took me a second to process that. Scott Cooper and Steve Sachs. Classic pack of taxes. Cordero had multiple domestic violence issues. That's crazy. I never heard that. Bob Walk without the stash. There's that horrid Pendleton card again. Mike Moeller. The final three packs. So the Jeter came out the very first pack. You gotta love when that happens. All downhill from the first pack. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I don't remember this guy at all. Joe Kamak? Or just Mac? I've, I've never heard of that dude before, ever. I don't know if he went on to ever do anything. Could be, like could be out. wrong, but yeah, it looks like he's trying to force one out. <laughs> yeah, I think Schilling will get in this year, too. It doesn't even sound like a real name. <laughs> no, it really doesn't. Ben Rivera, Joe Carter, David Segui. Seen a lot of him tonight. It's the fifth time we've seen that card. Jose Offerman, and nothing else too amazing in that pack. <laughs> Nolan Ryan, collectors is between Saxon and Cummings. You might get demonetized. Thankfully, Rusty Coons retired. The final two packs with Kruk and Eldred on top. I don't know what we'll do with this one. I don't know if that's really such a highly desired card. But it's pretty wild. I don't remember any, any other companies really doing that, putting like regular sized cards in boxes. Well, I think this is the first year of the Marlins and Rockies, so... 
Yep. Maybe they did it just to, uh, yeah. just to pump up some, some fan hype around them. Yeah, that probably is why, honestly. There's that freaking Michael Tucker again. Give it to Ray. Yeah, I definitely could give it to Ray. Eckersley again. Winfield. <laughs> Juan LeBron and Ron Jeremy dynamic duo. <laughs> Tom Browning, and yeah, these ones are tough, especially with this freaking blackboard. You can see the white blemishes on each one of them. It's so hard to grade these. Yeah, just being in a box, being shuffled around for, you know, the last 28 years. The final pack of the night. Ozzy Smith. Hopefully that's a good indicator on the back here. Greg Gore. The last pack magic. Right here we go. That would be awesome. Jim Tatum, expansion card, Tony Fernandez. Rodney Bolton. <laughs> John Fishman. Oh, that's too funny. Yeah, no sign of Jack tonight. Yeah, we have a new Idols card. Paul Molitor and Shannon Stewart. Back to back. Lou Whitaker. I do remember that, Austin. That was pretty hysterical. <laughs> we have Mike Greenwell and Dave Concepcion. Or, not Mike Greenwell. Definitely kind of looked like I'm a lot on the front of the card, though. It really threw me off. Dave Concepcion looks like he's really stoned in that picture. Luis Mercedes, I guess it was a 70s, so. <laughs> There's that Bob Zubkick card again. <laughs> That's a ridiculous card. And Lee Smith, only one Jeter found in that box, but uh, one is better than none. Where did I put that one at? So the very first pack that came out. Take another look at this again. So definitely a little off center, left to right, and that freaking little bit of white showing in the top left corner. But uh, still an awesome card to add to your PC, regardless. Definitely a good one for anyone's rookie card PC. I appreciate Al for joining us tonight, being here with us. Uh, like I said, check out Stucast Sports on Twitter. Also, if you feel like it, check me out on Twitter as well. It's at uh, past underscore alive, and also Stucast Sports. And um, next week. We will be doing 2000 Stadium Club Chrome. These boxes are pretty hard to come across. We've got Jeter in the front of the box here. Pretty excited about that. So hopefully we'll pull some cool stuff out of there. And um, hopefully I will have a rookie card update video for you on Thursday um, from post-2000. If I can get around to getting it done, we'll have that in the next couple of days. So thank you again, Al. Appreciate you uh, joining us tonight. Check him out. Check me out on Twitter. And also check out his podcast. And uh, I will see you guys all next time. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are the best. I'll see you next time.